and now we'll take a look at functions. Now a, now, a function, function is, is simply a new rule that you're given. given. For instance, For instance f, of f of x equals x squared minus, minus 6x plus, plus 10. 10. Let's, Let's also, also say, say we're given, given g of x equals x plus, plus 2. 2. If, if I, I wanted, wanted f, f of 2, I simply, simply substitute 2, 2 in, in for x, x in every, every part, part of the equation. equation. So, so I get f, f of 2, 2 equals 2 squared minus 6, 6 times 2 plus 10, 10 which would be 4 minus 12 plus 10, 10 giving me 2. 2. Now, now remember, remember with, with a function, function you simply, simply substitute, substitute the value you're given. You're given. So, so f, f of 3, three I, would I would have put, put 3 in everywhere, everywhere there's, there's an x. x. F, f of, of 10, 10, I would have, I would have put, put 10, 10 in everywhere, everywhere I, I see an x. It's, it's simply, simply a matter of following, following the rule and making the substitution they request. They request. Now, now, you'll, you'll see, see those, those traditional, traditional functions from time to time, time on the SAT. SAT. What, what I, can I can guarantee you will see, see one, one to two, two times per test are made-up made functions. They're called made-up made functions, functions because, because they're characterized by goofy signs, signs to denote, denote the new, new rule, rule that they're applying. applying. These goofy, goofy signs, signs can be asterisks, arrows, tildes, all kinds of goofy signs. signs. But you can't, can't allow yourself to be distracted. Focus on what, on what they're, they're asking for and what the new rule, rule is. is. Let's, let's look at one. This, this made-up made function gives us for, for all integers a and b, let a arrow up b equals 7, seven of the, the values, values below, below which is greatest. greatest. Then we're, then given, we're given the choices, choices for number, number one, 1, a equals 4, b equals 72, number 2, a equals 72, b equals 1086, and 3, a equals negative 14, b equals negative 17. Equals negative 17. Equals negative 17. Then we have then our answer choices, choices to choose from. from. The key, the key here is to focus on, on the rule you're given. given. It, it says, says a arrow up b equals 7. 7. Well, if, well, if I, I put, put a 4 in for a and a 72 in for b, what do, what I, do get? I get? 7. seven. If, I if I put a 782 in for A, and a 1086 in for B, what do I get? 7. Nothing, Nothing changes that 7 on the right-hand right side, side of the equation. equation. Now, now, this, this is, is a goofy, goofy problem. problem. This, this is, is one that's more, more of a puzzle, puzzle than a math, math question. But it's, but it's easy points. points. Anything, anything you put, put in for A, a anything, anything you put, put in for B, comes up 7. So the correct answer here is D. They all have an equal value. Once, Once you get, get and, and stay, stay focused, focused on the rule they're, they're giving you, these, these problems, problems aren't that tough, tough and they're, and in, they're in a difficult, difficult section, section, so it's, it's like, like stealing, stealing points. points.